Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here. So today I'm doing something a little different. It's not a review. It's just more of like a how-to. Uh, so I am doing a wall display of all of the DC Pride covers. But instead of just hanging them up in bags and boards or paying really expensive amount of money for comic book frames, I'm doing them with dollar store stuff. Now, I already have the UV protection uh, sleeve on there. Uh, no board underneath that, but that's more because I'm going to put it on here so it's not going to get uh, messed up. Now, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's just the Certificate of Achievement, uh, Certificate Frame. Uh, I got 12 of them because I think I have 11 comics. And then uh, I'm just going to use some uh, regular construction paper to do the background so and then I've got just a little uh, exacto knife also from the dollar store craft knife craft knife set uh, to make sure these edges work so let me show you how I do it now you do have to be a little careful when you're taking these tabs up, just because they are cheap frames. So be very careful when you're bending these back. I suggest putting some counter pressure against the part where your finger is gonna be, against where you're pulling, essentially. See, like I've got really short fingernails right now. I'm trying not to cut into the backing of this because otherwise we are just kind of screwed. That one's not coming up real easy. It's not actually necessary because we got all the other sides. Now see, it does have these little tabs, and they are just held in with tape on the other side, so you may have to reinforce those, just depending on where you're at. We're gonna set this aside for now. And we're gonna take out the little uh, piece of paper. And now, if you wanted, you could just flip it around like this, and that could be your backer. So if you wanted to just have a, uh, a white border, you wouldn't even need to buy the construction paper but I'm trying to do more of like a pride flag kind of thing. And I thought I got all of the things from my last doll view off. But so the next thing we want to do is do the construction paper liner. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, which is our construction paper. Now, last time I did this, I did it with the glass, but it's more of a pain in the butt to uh, take it off. So what we're going to do is we've got it lined up to where it's right on the edge with this glass. You can have a little bit of over overhang because the glass is slightly bigger than this backer. And we're just going to use this angled X-Acto knife, and we're just going to go like this. We're just gonna try to do it like this. Now I am on, I'm not worried about my table because this is a marble tabletop, but don't do this on a wood table y'all because it will cut through. And again, just kind of be careful because you don't want it to snag because you kind of want nice easy borders. See, we've got it like that, and then we've got it like this. Now, sometimes you're going to notice that it's not 100%, and you're going to have to go back and redo it, because parts of it get snagged. But it's just a quick little, uh, quick little thing like that. You just take the excess off. Now, remember, we're going to switch, switch it to this side. Let's see, we've got a nice, easy line, and it's 
lined the right way now. And do take your sleeve. I just tape mine down on the back, so that way if I need to uh, take it back out, I can. And try to get it as secure as possible. You could put double-sided tape down. I'm just now thinking about it. But that's gonna add some uh, thickness to your frame, which these are already kind of pushing it as far as thickness goes. So again, just try to be careful when you slide it in. Once it's in there, it should be pretty, uh, pretty doable. And we're just gonna put down two to make sure that it's still held in the right spot. So it's still held pretty good on that same spot. It does need to move a little bit more that way, I think. I don't know. So it needs to go down slightly. Right there. Those margins look great. And then we're just gonna pop it down like that with our last two. And make sure everything back here is nice and tight. And there you go. You've got a nice framed comic ready to hang on the wall with your own custom background. Now you could use glitter paper or any kind of paper you really wanted to use. Uh, but this is just kind of what I went with because it was the closest match to what I had for my pride wall display. But yeah, there you go. There's your dollar, there's your Dollar Tree comic book frame. If you like it, leave a like. Disney D prints out.